Hey, it's Edison Abelard, and I'm back with the continuation of creating game assets for Unity 3D. Now, where we left off last, we started to combine these vertices to create our, a little top here. But what I want to do is actually digress and go backwards and actually show you the Illustrator file uh, for those of you who didn't understand what I was talking about. So here goes the Illustrator file. As you can see, when I first imported it, we got all these extras, and that's because these were all artboards. So we can just delete these artboards, zoom into here. So what I did here was is literally create a, a simple shape that we can mimic by just grabbing our lips. Now this is really rough, but if you want to make this more uh, fine-tuned, if you want to actually bring it in, you can... You know, you can actually find a, an image and, you know, just vectorize it. But this is just going to be just one, once again a, a rough outline of what we need. And we'll fix this, the, the actual stroke in a little bit. All right, so let's set this back to one. Set this one back to one. So from here, we can just keep bringing this down if we want to, or change, we can actually add points to here, what I'm doing here, and then just grab the points and reshape everything. So grab this here, put that there, bring this down. I'm just going to grab this busy curve and just fix that up a little bit. This one's still out of whack. All right, it's time to, to lock these layers. So I'm just going to grab these, uh, create a new layer, and just arrange them and send them to that layer. And all that does is it 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 locks. Let me bring this up. And actually, all it does is is it locks the layer, so I don't have to worry about continually grabbing some of the other points. Okay. And if you're having too much problem, you can always go back and actually create a point where where you like it. Let me make sure this is a positive. Created a point there, created a point there, and then go ahead and actually delete this point. G and hit minus. Boom. Alright. So both sides are a little wobbly. If we want to make sure that they are even on both sides. We can also delete these on this side and actually just duplicate it. If you transform and actually just reflect it, you'll get a, as you can see, a reflection. You can hit copy. And there you go. Now these still need to be combined just like we did in Maya when we merged the vertices. Come down here, make sure these are overlapping. All right, now that these are overlapping, you can just grab these two shapes and we're using our Pathfinder and we're just going to unite. So there you go. Now we have both sides are evenly distributed and if you want to, we can actually take this, make sure this is unlocked. We can probably just reflect this again, transform and reflect. And this time horizontally, make sure we make a copy of it. Cause if you hit okay, it's just going to reflect that version. So we want to make sure our smiley face. Transform, reflect and make a copy of it and then we can just bring that up now one side is typically larger than the other so we can either bring this one down a little bit 
and make, make this one a little larger. Bring this up a little bit. All right, cool. If you want to make this line straight, you can do that. Um, or you can just, you know, bring that, you know, when you bring it in, you can make modifications there. So you can see that they're slightly different, but that's okay. You know, by having them different and by making them unique, you actually bring more life to your piece and you create, uh, you know, assets that are more reminiscent of you and not so much the templates that you get, you know, when you go buy something from like Turbo Squid. And you can almost always point those things out. And sometimes you can get away with it, but making it unique really does, you know, lends itself to, uh, you know, to being something that you can own. Now, what's very, very, very important here, though, is, is that when you save this file, you want to make sure you save it out in one legacy format. So you see I have the Soda logo. Oh, copy is what we want to do. I'm going to do copy V2 and V2 because we're not going to be using that one. So I hit save. Now here goes the important portion. Illustrator 8. Now you'll you'll see some error messages or some warning messages down here, but that's all fine. It's very important that you do Illustrator 8 because there's extra information that came with all the other ones. So Illustrator 8 is guaranteed to import into all of the 3D packages. Um, and that's including Cinema 4D. So save it out as an Illustrator 8 file and you can go right back into Maya and you'll get what we did here. So the only difference, you know what, let's go ahead and delete this and let me show you exactly how the whole process goes. We'll come back in here. We're going to import. And we have our soda can top V2. Um, we can leave all these out for now. Now that's been imported. Now there you go. Now we have basically the step that we started off with. Grabbing this, grouping it, rotating it. 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees. Negative 90 degrees. <laughs> right, so now we have this whole process again where we go back and, you know, I'm just going to quickly just extrude this. So there you go. And we have the same process all over again. So you can begin, um, you know, just simply by imp by creating your, your asset in Illustrator. You can come back and, and, you know, just easily make a perfect or sort of perfect um, resemblance of shapes in Illustrator and bring them into Maya. So that's it for this video. And next we're going to work on maybe beveling this just a little bit and adding a little more detail. Edison Abelard, I'm out.